So you read a little bit about this yesterday, or you watched that video that talked about this. There was another big problem with the Constitution, right? The northern states were vastly different than the southern states. I'd like to think that everyone knew that slavery was wrong at the time, but I don't know. I We do know that the South relied on slave labor and just basically didn't care um, because if they did, they probably would have stopped it. But they relied on slaves more than the North, all right? They're probably all racist at this time, or at least most people, but we are they were living in a time that they needed to come up with some sort of agreement and the solution of just ending slavery together would not have worked because the south would have never agreed to that so what they also wanted to do the south wanted more people to represent them when they made laws in congress so they wanted to count all their slaves for their population. The North said, wait a minute, guys. You don't want to give slaves any rights. However, you want them to count towards your population? That doesn't make any sense. So they came up with this agreement called the Three-Fifths Compromise, right? They were trying to figure out how people should be counted, the northern states did want to abolish slavery. They wanted to get rid of it. And you'll see there's a map. You'll see that they did not, most of the northern states didn't want slavery. The south, southern states wanted to keep slavery. So what they decided to do, and this is a comp compromise usually means a good thing. Let's, let's all agree right now that this was not a good thing. You know, no matter what they did right now to come up with a solution, calling a slave Every five enslaved people would count as three towards the population count. So basically, they said that every slave was worth three-fifths of a person, right? Completely messed up. So the, the word compromise is a little funny to be used right there, right? So as L11 would tell you, like, compromise? Are you really sure? Is that really a compromise? All right. They did agree that in 1808, the slave trade with other countries would end, however. I have a map of the 18... Of 18 I'm going to show you that. So this is what the United States looked like in 1800. You'll see some new states added in there, different claims, different territories. All right. And you also notice that the color of the states indicate whether it was a free state where they did not allow slavery or a free territory or a red state where they decided that they were going to keep slavery. You might see a surprise on there. Something might shock you that one of these states was a slave state in 1800. So what were the takeaways here? Well, the first thing was the fact that people did want to abolish slavery at this time, but they were afraid that the Souths would not sign the Constitution if they abolish it. Get rid of it, right? Abolish. Right? So they did not put that into the Constitution. Consequence of that is the fact that in our United States Constitution, there is a, a, a talk, there's a part of the line that talks about slaves being less than one person, which, um, which is a terrible thing to be written in our document of history. One positive thing, call it a positive thing, is the slave trade would end in 1808. So they said, all right, guys, 20 years from now, we will stop the slave trade. I guess you could feel positive about that. You know, it's still 20 years away. Uh, meanwhile, what do you think the South's going to probably do until that day uh, comes, right? So that was the three-fifths compromise. Um, good luck answering the questions. Let me know if you have any questions for me.